In just a few days, the ESPYs air on ABC. It's like winning an Oscar, but for best sports performance. And Colorado's Olympic gold medalist and World Cup skier, Michaela Schifrin is up for two awards, best female athlete and best female Olympian. This week, I had a chance to catch up with her at her home to talk about her nominations and find out all the important things like what she will wear and what it would mean to win. Michaela Schifrin is used to winning on some of the world's biggest stages, but one award that has eluded her is an ESPY. While she's excited for the nominations, she hopes it gives the sport of alpine skiing more recognition. For ski racing to keep, to be relevant as a sport, there's not a lot of attention to ski racing in the U.S. outside of the Olympic cycle, so taking advantage of this kind of um, attention that our, my sport is getting right now is really cool and I'm trying to like play it up as much as possible and keep people coming back and show them that it's a fun sport. Between her two nominations, Michaela is going up against other athletes like snowboarders Jamie Anderson and Chloe Kim, yet she doesn't like to call them her competition. I'm going up against several awesome Olympians. I don't know, I mean I want to say it's a competition but at the same time I'm like sort of don't want to be pitting women against each other. <laughs> It's just like, this is going to be a fun night and we're going to get dressed up and I hope my dress looks good and I, <laughs> and I hope everybody enjoys watching and kind of I hope ski racing gets a few more fans from it. Fashion for the awards gala is also a little like downhill skiing. Just making it through the night without falling down with cameras all around you can be a gold medal performance. Michaela says she will be working with a stylist that's a lot different compared to the first time she was nominated for the exact same awards in 2014. A bit more of a process this time than last time around where I was like went to the store and bought a dress <laughs> and I was like I guess I'll wear this and it was like I don't know something went to Denver like the day before we went to LA and I was like oh this looks good okay I'll wear that. So um, it's a bit, it's pretty exciting actually, because I like the, I like the fashion side of things. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm like a fashion connoisseur, but I like it and it's fun to get dressed up. However, she's not totally giving away exactly what she will wear on the red carpet. I tend to like, um, like that kind of halter style neckline, but I can't promise that that's what it's going to be. It just, but I'm like, oh, if I, like, I want to show off my shoulders because I do, like, I, I work, not that you need shoulders for ski racing, but for some reason it gives me confidence boosters. But Michaela needs your vote. She's pretty humble about all of her accomplishments, but says her resume speaks for itself. Last season, she won the World Cup overall Crystal Globe, her second in a row, the Slalom Globe, her fifth in six seasons. Oh, and she also won a gold and silver medal at the Winter Olympics, too. It's actually similar to what it means to even win maybe an Olympic medal. It's, it's all winning any award is basically stacks up to the same thing. It means that you're doing your job really well, and for me, um, awards are simply like acknowledgement that I'm doing a good job, that I'm working hard, that the team around me is clicking, that we're, we all do a really good job and hard work pays off. Now the only way she can win an SB is if you at home vote. It's based off of fan vote and you can still vote for Michaela. That link is up on the DenverChannel.com, on my Facebook and Twitter. Also, if you're wondering who her date will be at the ESPYs, it won't be her mom or boyfriend. They both can't make it this year. She'll be going with her manager and a few other people from her team.